Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and today is a very exciting day because you guys we're going from looking at fashion and trends to actually trying them on. Yay! To some of my viewers this is actually their favorite part and I hope that you're one of them. Today I'm gonna be trying to recreate Gucci spring summer 2022 show. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so Gucci is one of the shows I love to recreate. Sometimes not for the reason because like I like how it looks not always, but because it is so creatively styled together and you can for sure find the pieces that are in your closet and actually try to assemble an outfit out of it. But just so you know, this video is being sponsored by Sapsana and we're going to be talking about them in just a little bit. So the show itself, it felt very cowboy kind of very americanized i would say there is lots of cowboy hats cowboy boots there was kind of that awful tropical kind of hawaiian shirts that, that's pretty much what stood out the most to me let's read a little bit about the show itself gucci is about to get the hollywood treatment of course gucci's name has long been linked with hollywood and its connection with the movies was everywhere you looked at Alessandro Michel Fab Spring 2022 show. Michel credits his mother, a movie buff and an assistant in a production company, with encouraging his love for old Hollywood. But equally, his collection was about contemporary Los Angeles, a place the designer first visited at the age of 27, and that he has much affection for. LA is not fashion city, but it's so fashionable, he said, backstage before the show. Sometimes they're not appropriate, but but in being not appropriate, they are so precise. Maybe it belongs to my way of looking at fashion. It's personal. When it was finally time to return to in-person show after two seasons of visual experiences that lockdown required, Los Angeles seemed to be obvious choice. Seven years into his Gucci tenure, he's presented in the New York, Paris, Rome, and most often Milan, but Mikhail's collections have never made more sense than this one did on Hollywood Boulevard with its neon lights and walk of stars. At the post-show press conference, Mikhail said he originally wanted to be a costume designer. He spent part of the day-to-day -day at the freshly opened Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, where he admired a bow-cowered Shirley Temple dress, among other pieces, on the topic of special occasion dresses. It's fair to say he raised the bar for himself this season. With their cinematic sweep, if his grows don't make it into a museum, will surely be seeing them soon on an award red carpet. Yeah, pretty much sums it up what kind of feelings that I had about the show and what it was actually all about. So old Hollywood, maybe like cowboy movies, something along the lines. So yeah, I can see that now the gowns make more sense. And okay, let's move on. So the first outfit that I tried to recreate is cowboy hat moment, transparent skirt with a fishnets of some sort, lots of lace. We have lace on the sleeves, lace on the skirt, it being high-waisted yet the cropped top, which is an interesting combination of having kind of a white top and everything else is black, a little bag, a pair of panel leather shoes, and here we go. So of course, I don't have everything like this in my closet. So this is what I came up with. I have kind of a cowboy hat, not quite, but now I know what to shop for. And I actually have this lacy see-through skirt. So I paired it with, I don't want to say fishnets, but kind of fishnets on the sleeves as well as the tights themselves. And instead of having that break, it just because it, it didn't really go well with the entire thing, I decided to kind of cover my torso up a little bit. But now looking back at it, if the skirt was a little bit longer, then the 
cropped top would be great with a little bit of a skin break in there. I don't have the patent leather shoes that are a little bit more of a sandal type, but I do have these kind of boots and I think it goes well together. I can't really say that I would ever wear this out in public, but you never know. Never say never, you guys. Never say never. So for makeup and hair, everything was very natural. There was kind of almost messy type of hair on the runways. There was almost no makeup or very minimal makeup. So I just tried to go for a natural no makeup look, if you know what I mean. There is always makeup involved in the no makeup look, you guys. Once again, probably would not wear this in real life, but on the runways it looked really cute. So if I had that outfit, I would, I would maybe wear it. Maybe, maybe I would like pair it with like solid black tights because I don't know, the clashing of the two fishnet and the lace is a little too much for me. Maybe I would just have the kind of high-waisted underwear or hot pants underneath and have that skirt on a my skin or maybe a lighter colored tight. All right. And because these outfits are so bright and colorful in a matter of styling, I decided to pair it with more of a minimum style jewelry, uh, like the one, the earrings from Sapsana, and you will later see some more items from them. The next outfit over is this mismatched suit, both plaid, but it's not quite matching. We have more, a little bit more oversized blazer, some wider leg trousers, we have a very deep plunging neckline with a chain, and of course a cowboy hat and cowboy boots, I believe. The same hat, of course, of course it's the same hat. And I've gotten my blazer and pants from a different suit, and I do have this very plungy neck kind of a bodysuit that's a little bit scandalous. I would prefer to have a bra in on there. I do have the snakeskin kind of a print boot, more of a chunkier one than that was on this look, but there were lots of platforms on the runways, so I think it would have worked that way. As you can see, there's a little bit of a moon kind of a necklace from Sapsana. It, it's made of silver, earrings also, and I quite like this look. I would only have a bra, you know, with it. And uh, 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 are the boots? I would probably change the boots for the black patent leather ones that were there before. And that's pretty much it. Whenever I try to create these looks and I'm missing something, I can then look at the rest of the show and see what type of clothing they were wearing in different looks. So for instance, there were lots and lots of very thick platform heels. So I thought, why not substitute that cowboy boot with this kind of a still the same print, but a different style of shoe. The hat is not quite cowboy hat, if you, you can tell, but it is a similar color to the ones that were on the runways and of course it's not the same kind of a print it is plaid but it's you know it's not the same but it's okay <laughs> you, you don't have to copy the outfit itself you can find the inspiration on the runway and try to recreate it in your own way let's talk about Sapsana. they were kind enough to reach out to me and agree to sponsor this video and what is it it's kind of a platform for jewelry designers to sell their products. And mostly the designers in Sapsana are actually from Russia. They create these beautiful designs out of quality materials like gold and silver. And right now I'm rocking a silver set from Ephemore, which is one of my favorite designers on there. And I have an asymmetrical earring pair with kind of a, the same texture on the ring and I have this kind of a longer chain 
necklace that I really, really like. All of the jewelry that I'm wearing in this video, along with the recreations, are all from Sapsana. But let's take a look at their website. My favorite thing about it is you can actually filter it out, like what kind of metal you want, if you want rocks in there, if you want some kind of a style. I prefer to go into the trends section. This will take you into more of minimalistic, a slash very current type of jewelry and I love almost all of the designs here that you can see. Some are uh, full gold, full silver, some are gold plated silvers and I think that these are very cool designs that would last you a life and you can take a look at how it would look like on the ear and the packaging too it's so cute so if you're thinking of, of it as a gift why not so for my viewers i'm gonna have a link down below as well as the little code for you to save a little something on your first purchase all right let's continue with the look so the next one i was trying to go for was the satin pink dress with a feather boa of some sort, kind of fingerless gloves, tiara of course, uh, tights and the shoe in the same color. Of course I don't have everything like this but what I do have is kind of a satiny kind of a slip-on dress with the same colored shoe so I decided just to go for that. I have like two things that are matching right? I have that it's also kind of a shiny satin kind of a feel as well as the same same color shoe so i kept the ties from my previous outfit because they good yeah this gucci show had kind of one style of tight and it wasn't their monogram tights either so interesting i just paired it with a regular glove i feel it looks much better less messy because the ones that they had on the runways they were fingerless there was kind of a string type situation that i didn't understand i have a tiara you guys isn't that so much fun <laughs> to have to wear ti tiara and yeah i quite like this look i would probably wear this to a new year party or something like my birthday is in summertime so i feel like it's a little too kind of cozy for that but new year party go go for it Yes, maybe that will be what I'm going to be wearing for next New Year party. <laughs> and instead of the feather thing, I have this kind of a scarf thing. I don't even know how to, like, what it is exactly. But I felt like when I remembered that I have it, I was so excited. <laughs> All right, so the next outfit over would be this kind of a mesh pink dress with a latexy kind of a top corset situation of course the cowboy hat uh, we have the same tights well of course they have them hold ups kind of situation and platform heels so here we go i am wearing this dress shirt situation and i actually had a piece of material of i don't know that latexy but it's not latexy it's like faux latex kind of a material that i just wrapped around and tied it under my arm i think or like in the back my hair is hiding it of course the same hat i found a pair of blue light glasses kept the same tights and i've put on the clog type heels so they're very chunky they have a platform and they're black and they actually look very similar to the ones on the runways i know i've talked about clogs in a yeah i still don't really like them this this purchase was out of necessity but i'm kind of glad that i did because then i could try it out and i got it from a thrift store so i don't feel that bad you guys i was just talking to somebody about fast fashion and how not everybody could afford to buy something quality to buy a that was made sustainably and the only way out if you can do this is to thrift or to upcycle something 
And that is exactly what I am trying to do nowadays. Of course, I'm not a saint, so I do shop around fast fashion sometimes, but I do love to create something myself because then I have more attachment to it. I don't tend to throw out as much. I tend to wear it more often or like remake something. That way it's more unique. Not everybody else has that. Even when you thrift, the piece it would be more unique just because it's not in H&M where everybody could buy it. All right, so the next look over is with the same top kind of a situation paired with more of a longer dress, of course, cowboy hat and cowboy boots. So I did not have long enough dress or like similar color dress, but I did have this one, which had kind of the same feeling, more of a boho type dress. I just put it on and then I wrapped around that material, tied it, having the same hat, the same boots that we've seen before, that the, the skin. I kept the tights just, you know, because almost every outfit out there had the tights. And I have an actual Gucci bag, very kind of a vintagey one from probably 20 years ago. And I quite like the feel of the entire outfit. I would probably substitute the boots for more of a cowboy boot uh, with a smaller heel, but yes, quite like it. Definitely will change the boots up, but quite like it. Probably would wear it maybe fall winter season if you're enjoying this content so far and you would like to support my channel all you need to do is hit that like button maybe leave me a nice little comment down below and if you're not ready subscribe thanks all right the next outfit up is a little bit more colorful we have that hawaiian shirt that i've talked about very bright leggings and a blazer some oversized sunglasses and a hat okay so I didn't really have the same colors in my wardrobe, but this is what I did have. I had kind of almost exactly the same blazer. I had the cowboy hat. I had the oversized sunglasses um, and my husband's kind of a Hawaiian shirt, but it's kind of a little bit muted colors. It has some red in it, so it tied very nicely with my pair of sunglasses. My leggings were like of a deeper green, so they didn't stick out as much. And the boots, I, yeah, I went for the same boots just because that outfit had the snake skin kind of a print on their shoe and I kept the same bag. I quite like this outfit. I would, yeah, I would wear this. Maybe once again, I would substitute the shoe, but it's not, it does not rub me the wrong way in this moment right now. So maybe I would keep it. Yes, my leggings don't have the G's on it. Yes, they're a different color, but they kind of have the same aesthetic. It's very sporty. You know, they have like those diagonal lines. There is some kind of a pattern with the, the holes that is going on in there. And oh uh, yeah, I quite like it. And they're super comfortable. Did I say that already? They're super comfortable. I feel like the bag strap ties very nicely with the suit's buttons. And yeah, I, just, I, I quite, quite, quite like this outfit. I would wear this maybe shopping, maybe for like, I don't know what else, a photo shoot? Sure. <laughs> All right, next outfit is way simpler. This is like the most simple outfit that I've tried out. And I did it just because I had the things in my closet. So we have cowboy hat once again. We have kind of a strapless tube bra, tube type of bralette. We have kind of wider leg pants, uh, belted and shoes. I took that little bra thing from my bathing suit. I kept the same hat. I have these wider leg pants that I've thrifted from men's section. I have an, like an actual suit and you will see the blazer from it just a little bit later. I had to take it in for sure because there were men pants that were like straight. So I did tailor them to my curves and I quite like it. I wish it was longer. I did take out the hem and like made it like super tiny, but that added only like an inch. And I thought that men should be taller, right, than us. But anyways, if those pants were like to the floor, then it would be perfect. But I still quite like it. I don't know where I would go in this just because the pants are like wool and the top is very minimum. So yeah, it's there. 
don't know what I feel about it, but it's okay. All right, the next outfit is once more very bright, very colorful, very kind of a sport chic uh, combination with more of a blazer type. <laughs> uh, we did see this combination kind of beforehand with blazers and biker shorts, but here we go. We have kind of a sport onesie in a very kind of almost neon green paired with, with a more subtler satiny green blazer, of course cowboy hat, of course the oversized sunglasses, and some bright shoes. So here, here is what I had. I have a satin blazer, but it's in red, right? And I do have kind of almost a set uh, of like sporty things, but the leggings are so old that I don't really wear them anymore. I paired it once again with the same sunglasses. They pair very nicely with a red blazer. I decided instead of going for a bright heel, I decided to go for white just because I already have such a big contrast in my outfit going on and I have that hat. I needed to bring some of the kind of neutral colors back into the outfit. So I went for a white, actually a Gucci heel that I got from my sister uh, that are about 15 years old. Okay, so I, I quite like this look. If the leggings weren't covered like in random platches of paint, and they didn't have a sewn up hole in the, on the crotch, then I would definitely wear this look out in public. But because of all of those above mentioned things that I've mentioned, um, that I mentioned that they were covered in tree sap as well, I, I just can't. I probably need to buy a new pair like that so I could wear this outfit out, but it's gonna be impossible to find. Anyways, once again, I'm wearing kind of smaller type jewelry just because the outfit is so over the top of it already. I just need a little bit, a little bit kind of subtler thing to just tone it even down a little bit. Okay, the next one. Did you get the foreshadowing about the biker shorts? Yeah. So we have biker shorts, more of a knee high kind of a rider boot with the blazer, a little bit of a plaid shirt situation. Once again, oversized sunglasses and the cowboy hat and a bag. I decided not to go for a bag. I don't know why, but here we are. Once again, I'm wearing the same sunglasses. I have the plaid shirt that has a little bit of red, so it ties in the red glasses, the same cowboy hat. This is the blazer from the pants that I talked about from men's section. Love finding blazers in thrift store men's section. They're oversized, they're perfect for for what's trendy right now and they're made much better than something that you would find for the same price in the store much better i feel like this blazer is much better constructed than some of my blazers that were a hundred two hundred dollars and yeah i'm wearing kind of the biker short with the kind of cowboy boot and i quite like it don't know where i would wear this Maybe if I had very cool office that understood fashion, I would wear this there, but I think I'm not allowed to show my knees in my office. So, yes. And I saved the best for last, or should I say the most embarrassing outfit for last. <laughs> we have this kind of a lingerie type of a dress, super short, with very bright blue tights, and once again, those platformed shoes. So, um, I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> You're not going to be proud of me for putting this out on the internet, but here we go. We have kind of a slip dress situation. It was too short, so I paired it with a pair of kind of shorts, lavender tights that I wore instead of the blue because I didn't have the blue. I put on a little kind of a corset top to kind of make it a little bit look more like that. And of course, I'm wearing those chunky clock type heels. This is not... This does not look like it's an outside outfit. It doesn't even look like an outfit. It just looks like something that I should wear underneath something. Um, and it's super tight, like, oh my goodness, no. 
I'm not a fan of the mini skirt uh, trend at the moment and like if I didn't have those shorts I don't know what I would do it I would probably not show this outfit at all so here we go you guys this is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it I am looking forward to reading your comments on what was your favorite recreation that I've made and make sure to check out the link down below where you can find a very nice quality jewelry that is quite unique fun and will last you a long long time if you haven't already please consider consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel as this would help me out so so much and yeah have a great day stay classy bye